everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically test your HTML emails exported from Figma in dark mode using the Emailify plugin and the litmus.com platform. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, and if you click on the little resources icon up here, you can search for the word Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, you'll see the Emailify item pop up. All you need to do to run it is just click on that item and either click on this run button down here, or you can click on this more options icon here, which I'd recommend, and just click on the save icon here, and that'll allow you to save it to your Figma plugins list for easy access later. So I've already done that, so I'm gonna to go to my canvas and just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on the emailify item. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically helps you to design HTML emails inside of Figma that you can then customize the content and design of uh, in Figma using the normal uh, Figma styling tools you're used to. So once you've done that, you can then export that to production ready HTML from the plugin, which we'll do in a second. Uh, and we'll be able to test what that looks like in dark mode on some different email clients. So I'm gonna assume that you've already got your design set up as you want. I'm not gonna go through all the design tools in this tutorial. If you wanna go through those or if you're new to the plugin, I'd recommend checking out some of the tutorials on the YouTube channel. But for today, we're just gonna be exporting this HTML email from Figma and testing it out in dark mode using Litmus. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna click on this export HTML button up here. And then I'm just gonna make sure the upload hosted image URLs toggle is enabled here. And then I'm gonna click on export to HTML. And once that finishes generating the HTML for us, we're gonna be able to download that to our desktop. And we can do that by clicking on the little download your zip file button. So I'm gonna click that now. And I'm gonna download that to my desktop. I'm gonna open up the zip file. And if you open up that folder, you'll see you've got this little test email folder. And that's just exported the email from here. So we can see the test email frame that we've got in Figma. That's created this folder here. And what we wanna do is take this index.html file inside that folder, and we basically wanna open that up inside of a code editor. So I'm just gonna drag this into VS Code. You can also open that up in the browser and view source that way. But for today, I'm just gonna be copying the code straight from this editor here. So I'm gonna copy paste all of that HTML code, and then I'm gonna to go to my browser and I'm gonna to go to litmus.com, and I'm gonna use that service to test out this HTML in dark mode. So what I can do is I can go down here under the test tab. So if you click on test in Litmus and then click on the create new button down here and you basically just wanna give this a name. So I'm just gonna call it dark mode test and make sure you've got the test uh, option selected down here. So instead of build, you wanna click on test, then click on bring in your email. And once that loads up, there's a couple of different ways it's gonna allow us to bring in our HTML. We can either send the HTML from a different platform to this special address here, and that will get loaded into Litmus. But for today, we're also just gonna be uh, focusing on pasting in the HTML instead. So what you need to do is go down here where it says view more ways to create an email, and you wanna click on that little link, and that's gonna let us paste our email that we just copied from our code editor into this little box down here. So click on that input and click paste, and that's gonna paste in the HTML that we just copied. And then you can just put in whatever you want for the subject line and click on done. And once you click done, it's gonna take all of that HTML that we just pasted in. It's gonna upload it to Litmus and it's gonna allow us to run that HTML email uh, against different email clients to show how it's really gonna render the HTML email once it lands in people's inboxes. So by default, it's gonna pick a bunch of different email clients for you that it, that it kind of broadly uh, selects. So you're gonna get a bunch of different Outlook clients, you're gonna get some mobile clients and some web-based clients. But for today, we're mostly interested in dark mode. So what we can actually do is customize the clients by clicking on this little choose email clients button. So if you click on that, you can now go in and manually select all of these different uh, items. So we can select uh, Apple Mail on dark mode and light mode. We can go down to Outlook and we can select the dark mode options there too. So we can do Outlook 2021, uh, or Office 365, we can do those in dark mode and you can select that on Mac and Windows. So you can pick a bunch of different uh, options there. And we can also go down to our mobile and tablet options. So we might wanna do Gmail. So we'll do the Gmail app on Android in light and dark mode, just to compare them. 
And then we can also go down to our iOS options and we can do Gmail uh, in dark mode and light mode and also iOS mail. So we can do iOS mail on iPhone 14. We'll do it in dark mode and light mode. And I think that's pretty good for now. It's a pretty broad selection. So let's go ahead and run that. So we can click on run previews and that's basically gonna take the HTML that we just uploaded and rerun those previews. And as I mentioned, these are real uh, virtual machines or real computers that are being rendered. These aren't emulated. So you're gonna get a really accurate look at what these would look like if they're gonna be sent to somebody's inbox that's running these particular clients. Uh, and in this case, it's gonna be really handy for testing our HTML emails in dark mode. Uh, dark mode is extremely difficult to design for uh, based on the fact that these email clients all have their own way of handling it. So they'll basically inject their own CSS styles on top of your HTML, uh, overriding anything that you've designed. And they basically go and apply whatever styles they think are the best for your design, uh, even if that's often not necessarily the case. So testing your HTML email in dark mode is uh, really crucial if you want to understand how your HTML emails are going to get rendered in different email clients when they enable dark mode. Uh, so we can see here on the Gmail app, we'll just open up that one on iOS and you can see here that it's looking uh, good. They've changed the header obviously. So it's a slightly uh, darker header with lighter links, uh, but the text is looking good. They've just swapped that out to uh, be lighter text on a darker background. So overall, this isn't looking too bad. Uh, if you have more complicated blocks with different color backgrounds and things like that, this can get really uh, out there. Sometimes uh, these applications can really go to town on the styles that they inject, but because this is quite a simple design, uh, it's actually looking really good. And I think that's one of the key tips for designing with dark mode. You really want to kind of lean into the changes that these clients are going to make rather than trying to fight them. So if you try to uh, basically make it look exactly like this and keep those backgrounds and keep those text colors, uh, it's going to be extremely difficult because so few email clients actually support doing dark mode overrides. Um, you can do those using Emailify. So for example, if you click on uh, one of these elements and click on the HTML and mobile settings button up here, uh, you can actually drop in background colors and text colors to override those. But it's really important to know that only is supported in a handful of clients. So basically just uh, Apple iOS mail on, on mobile and also the Mac OS mail app. They're really the two big ones that'll support these properties. But for the other clients, you're pretty much gonna be stuck with whatever they decide to do. Um, so as I said, it's really important to go through and see uh, actually how these are gonna get rendered. So you can see down here, we've got our Outlook one as well. So we've got Outlook 2021 in dark mode, uh, and that's basically gonna render it uh, on the desktop version. So again, we can see it's fairly similar to the Gmail version. Uh, it's kind of knocked out this color at the back. It's inverted this to a darker gray, so not as dark as the Gmail one but it's inverted the text here as well. So very similar uh, to what Gmail did overall. Uh, we can also see what that looks like uh, across other versions as well. Uh, but if we also then go into the Office 365 dark mode, you can see that that's also looking a little bit different too. Uh, so if we load that up, you can see that the header is actually much darker. Uh, there's barely any uh, background color difference there at all. Uh, the background of the overall email is essentially the same as the body. So before in the other preview that we just looked at, uh, it was actually quite different between the two, but in this case, Office 365 is just basically taking all of that color out and making it all the same. Uh, and it's changing this footer and header area down here to be a very, very uh, slightly different color than the background. So again, it can be very unpredictable uh, to know what these clients are gonna do, but again, all the more reason to test it in something like Litmus as we're doing now, just to see how that is actually gonna look uh, once it gets into some of these clients and see how they handle them. So um, yeah, I'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to keep that really simple. Uh, you're welcome to go through each of these in more detail uh, in your own tests. I, I don't think you'd be too interested in me going through every single client, uh, but this is a really good way of testing your emails from Figma or testing any HTML emails in uh, dark mode using the litmus.com platform and getting a really uh, accurate look of how this is gonna render across different clients when they're in dark mode. So we'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.